Greetings, co-ed colleagues. I'm Julia Forsyth from Brock University, and I'm here to give you an update on the activities of the Ontario University's Council on e-learning, basically what we've done uh, in the last year, since the last time we saw all of you fine folks last November. Um, so in the winter of 2016, we had a meeting at the University of Toronto, and Arshad came and gave us an update on his faculty development project, where he received some fundings from the Ontario Online Learning Consortium, and uh, we also talked with Abby Hyman from the University of Toronto. Um, it was sort of a roundtable discussion about our relationship to vendors and maybe taking back the technology, who owns the data, um, students paying for ancillary fees, and basically how we support vendors um, in a way that is best for students uh, moving forward. And as with many of our meetings, we had an update from CLU about the Ontario Online Learning Consortium, which is now called eCampus Ontario. Uh, fast forward to spring, a uh, few of us were on a panel presentation uh, from USAL and uh, the session was called Colleagues, Community and Competitors. Um, you know, it was about being a collaborative force in a competitive environment and that's basically that we're a community of practitioners um, who work in e-learning and we should try and share our practices and discoveries and r really, we it's a, it's a really great community but also sometimes we are um, in these awkward situations where we're competing for funding. And so it was a really great session um, discussing that. Uh, in the summer, uh, we had our annual Summer Institute. This year was held at Wilfrid Laurier University, and we had 31 participants from 15 institutions. I'm just going to take you through a few of the things that we talked about at the Summer Institute. It's um, basically a three-day event. And so Lena Patterson from eCampus Ontario gave us an update on the mission, goals, and strategic projects. And the strategic projects are those, those funding, those grants, uh, things that I was talking about before, which have basically just closed. We finished writing all those proposals, and many of you probably are already quite aware of them. Uh, we also had a presentation from Labster, which is a virtual lab simulator. Really interesting project, um, really high production value, th three-dimensional um, science uh, labs going on. Uh, and they do custom development with universities. Um, there's a, a research article here and a link to a um, TED Talk if you want to know more about it. Um, and uh, I guess I could t uh, take a moment right now to let you know that uh, these slides are posted and you can um, access all these links uh, from the slides in addition to this video. Uh, we also had uh, a presentation from Malcolm Brown uh, from the Educause Learning Initiative who talked about next generation learning environments. It's basically, what happens after the LMS? Um, can the LMS keep growing to be this uh, one massive um, um, platform that does everything? Or is there something different that could happen? And that was really interesting talking about sort of um, things that can plug into your LMS and make it more flexible and um, just looking to the future. Um, we also had a presentation from BC Campus talking about their open content initiatives. They're basically going to be doing open textbooks for about four years and um, some of their shared services and platforms and just uh, the ways that they go about that, um, especially considering that eCampus Ontario is sort of looking into this and, and a lot of their um, uh, proposals have been um, mirrored on BC Campus initiative and uh, our new director of eCampus Ontario is from BC Campus previously, so that's really interesting. Uh, we also had a panel presentation about the librarian's role in e-learning as information experts. Uh, it was really great to get their take on that. The Institute closed out with a presentation from lynda.com, which has been purchased by LinkedIn, which has also been purchased by Microsoft, so that was very interesting. Jake Hirsch Allen. Um, basically told us he's negotiating a provincial license with the ministry for all post-secondary institu institutions and um, there's some implications for that if you are an institution that has a license that's probably fantastic if you're one that wants one that's probably also very good but if you don't want one um, you know what is is that the best way for the ministry to be spending their money and that is the question it's good for discussion um, looking to the future, we'll be having our winter meeting at OCAD, at this funky building, um, following eCampus Ontario Showcase, which will be January 16th and 17th, and then we'll have our meeting on the, on the 18th. And, uh, as I mentioned before, David Porter, um, eCampus Ontario's new executive director, will be there and he'll give us some updates on the results and some data from the proposals, which uh, all of the um, um, results should be in by then, we'll, have, we'll know about. Um, who got what, basically. 
And next summer, in August, we'll be having our um, 2017 Summer Institute at the University of Ottawa. And it should be extra fun because we'll be celebrating Canada's 150th birthday. So if you know, um, if you are uh, USEL rep, I, I look forward to seeing you there. And if you um, don't know who your rep is at university, then I encourage you to seek them out. And if your university doesn't have one, then I encourage you to, um, we should hopefully have two from each institution so that we can really um, have a broad spectrum and diversity of voices. Anyway, I hope you have some really um, great conversations today. And again, I'm sorry I can't be there, but um, uh, I'm, I'm there in spirit. <laughs>